Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How you all? You are with me today, Dr. Aizu, in this lecture session. So today we look at topic 3.2D, identify various operators. It includes arithmetic, relational, and logical operators. What is operators? Operators generate some computation when applied to operands in expression. So if you look here, A and B are the operand and the plus is the operator. There are four types of operators which are arithmetic operators, relational operator, logical operator and also assignment operator. We will look into every and each of the operator. Arithmetic operation in Java includes using five arithmetic operations to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and taking the modulus. These are the five operation that you have to know okay we go one by one in addition operation we use the plus sign and for the math expression for example we use a plus b but for java expression we also use the same a plus b next you look at the subtraction arithmetic operator the minus sign math expression a minus b and the java expression still the same a minus b Multiplication. We use the star sign. For bad expression, we can use directly AB. But for Java expression, we have to use A, the star sign, B. For division, we use slash. For mathematical expression, we can use A slash B or A divide B. But for Java expression, we only use a slash b to represent the division operation and the last one is modulus modulus here refer to remainder okay, arithmetic operation percent symbol when operation a mod b but for java expression we use a percent b we look at the precedence of arithmetic operators precedent level one the first as a thing that you have to do once you receive any expression, you must focus on the brackets. Then followed by multiplication, division, and modulus. And the last one, the plus and the subtraction operation. The second operators is relational operators. Relational operators refer to the comparison of values. Mostly it is used in if and the while statement. Okay, you look here. This is the relational operator if mark more than 40, if x less than y, if choice equal to 1, while counter less or equal to 10, while number not equal to 0. Okay, this is the relational operators. Okay, we look at the example here. The first one is equal to, we have to use a double equal sign. For example, if choice equal to 1. The second one is less than. Okay, this is the ordinary one, the less symbol. If x less than y, then greater than, the bigger symbol, more than symbol. If mark more than 40, there's no problem. You, should have, you shouldn't have any problem with this. Okay, next is less than or equal, less than or equal. For example, while c is less than or equal. Mark more than 40 means we started with the 41. While C less or equal to 10 means the maximum number is 10. Okay, look here. Greater than or equal, you must use the greater and equal symbol. If H more or equal to 40, it shows that the H is start with the value 40. And last one is not equal. This, this symbol shows not equal. For example, one num not equal to zero. Example use of relational operators: assume a equal to thirty-five and b equal to seventy-nine. You look at the Java statement. If a equal to b, thirty-five equal to seventy-nine. Is it true? No. So the result is false. Second one: while a y thirty-five not equal to zero. So it is true. If a 35 
more than or larger than 79 so it is false while 35 less than 10 is also false while 35 more or equal to 79 is also false if 35 less or equal to 79 this is true The next operator is logical operators. Logical operation is applied to one or more relational expression. It is used to inverse a relational expression and connect two or more relational expression. Okay, look here. There are three logical operations. The first logical operation is N. We use the double symbol of N. So for example of Java expression, if h more than 35 and the grade is equal to a, this means that both conditions must be true. This is the use of the n logical operation. The next one, or we use two a straight line like this. For example, if h more than 35 or the grade is equal to A. So if the one condition is true, then the result will be true. And the one is not, we use the symbol not symbol. For example, if H is not more than 25, if H not more than 25. Alright? Okay, now we look at one by one. Okay, the first one is logical operator N. So as I told before, we use the double and symbol. Uh, it is comparing two operands. For example, A and B. If A and B are true, then the statement will be true. We look at example. Assume A is 35, B 79. If 35 less than 10 and 79 less than 10, then it will be true. So if compared to the statement here, it is a false statement. So that is why the result is false. You are the second one. If A less than 100, 35 is than 100, true. And B more than 100. B is 79, 7 times more than 100, false. So true and false will be false. Next one. A, 35, more than 100 false and 79 less than 100 true even the second statement is true but when you are using the n uh, logical operand it will produce a false result you look at the last one a is less than 100 35 is less than 100 is true and b is less than 100 79 is also less than 100 both statements are true then the result will be true Okay, we look at the second logical operator or it's some sort of like uh, an O gate. Okay, A or B is true if A or B or both are true. You look at the example here, assume A 35, B 79. If A less than 10, 35 less than 10, false. Or B less than 10, B 79. Less than 10, false. So false or false, we get a false result. Okay, we do the second one. 35 less than 100 or 79 more than 100. Okay, 79 more than 100 is false, but 35 is less than 100. So one of the statement is true, so we'll get a true result. Okay, that's one. A uh, more than 100, 35 more than 100 is false. Or B less than 100, 79 less than 100 is true. So any one statement is true and the result will be true. And the last one, A less than 100, true, 35 less than 100, and B less than 100, 79 less than 100, true. Both statements are true, so the result is true. Okay, next op logical operator is NOT. NOT is a unit operator. The logical NOT operation also called logical negation or complement. Uh, if some condition is true, then the exclamation mark will make it false. Okay, look at the statement here. A equal to 35, B equal to 79. Okay. If not A less than 10, okay, what the statement will do? 
Okay, we know that we do know that the a value is 35. So 35 is less than 10. This is false statement. So if not false, we'll get a true result. Okay, we go to the next statement. If not b less than 100. Okay, we do know that the value of b is 79. 79 is less than 100. True. Okay, so if not true, it will show the result false. Okay. And the last one is the assignment operators. Use to assign a value or result of an expression on the right side to a variable on the left side of an equation. Assignment operator is the assign, uh, equal sign. For example, 1 is assigned to x. 3 is assigned to y. x plus 1, x plus y is assigned to the variable total. Okay, you look here, uh, the variable x equal to 1, y equal to 3, okay, total equal to x plus y. So x plus y is assigned to the variable total. So we do know that the value of x is 1, the value of y is 3, so 1 plus 3 is 4, so 4 is assigned to total. So the variable total gets the value 4. Okay, we go to the conclusion. So there are four types of uh, operators, uh, which are arithmetic operators, relational operator, logical operator, and assignment operator. And you should know every and each of the operator. Okay, that is all for now. See you next time. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.